Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, <clears throat> like, and subscribe. And consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And thanks so much for the Patreons that I do have that help support this channel. Much appreciated. And remember, folks, not only is it Just Whiskey, it's just St. Patty's Day. Okay, I am half Irish from the waist down. And today we are going to be reviewing and talking about the 2022 uh, Bushmills Prohibition Peaky Blinders uh, special release. It comes in this fancy package with um, a complimentary Peaky Blinders uh, hip flask. Okay. Um, and they put a lot of probably a lot of money but a lot of thought and creative into this uh, package here even has a convenient uh, carrying handle in the back <laughs> okay so you can walk through the store with it um yeah and so it's uh paying tribute to the peaky blinders the shelby company and tommy from peaky blinders and they have taken um, great effort and to try to reproduce a prohibition era um, version of of Bushmills. OK, and um, and wait, there's more. <laughs> if you go on Bushmills website, it even says I'm not kidding you. It says as seen on TV. OK, so you have all this other uh, marketing bling on here. As seen on TV, and if you look closely, you will see Tommy holding one of these bottles. And they replicated this bottle from a 1900s era um, Bushmills bottle, kind of um, paying homage to the, the label and everything like that. Um, so Bushmills is usually always 100% malted barley, okay, as opposed to most almost all other Irish whiskeys, which are um, um, malted and unmalted barley. It doesn't say on this particular version that it's 100% malted, malted barley, but I believe it is. But they also call it uh, an Irish whiskey prohibition blend. And, and by law, it has to be aged a minimum of three years, and it says that on here. So there could be some older stock in here and a cool thing about this it's a 750 milliliter bottle comes in at 46 percent abv um, and non-chill filtered it's triple distilled and it makes no mention of uh, any added color i don't think that they do but i don't know um, the irish laws i know in scotland they can um so yeah this is a recreation of a prohibition recipe at 46 percent abv um and the price, uh, I bought this on sale. It was a no-brainer. It was $20, okay? But the regular price is about $35, um, 30 to $35, okay? Um, so, um, so for $20, it's a no-brainer. And maybe, you know, it depends if you're into Peaky Blinders and the, this whole thing. I mean, just the hip flask alone is probably worth five dollars right um the packaging probably cost them a couple of bucks for that right um so they did put some effort into this so um bush mills claims it's the oldest licensed distillery in ireland from going back to 1608 all right so i'm going to do the review going to give it a score actually two scores and i'll explain why after and then a quick little recap of some my favorite irish whiskeys if you stay to the end um i'm going to talk about that and i'm going to talk about prices um so but let's get on with the review so this definitely has the bushmills dna I just um, s sipped a uh, Bushmills 21 year old from 2016. But unfortunately, most of Bushmills core range, they water it down to 40%. You know, e even, a 21, even the 21 year old. Um, 
So that's really a shame, you know. And I know they do have some offerings with a special offerings um, where it is a higher ABV. Most of their core range is 40% ABV. All right, so Peaky Blinders, Bushmills, Prohibition peak, uh, recipe on the nose. Honey, a little bit of bubble gum, and it's a there's an herbal note. So herbal, maybe even a slight medicinal note, but definitely herbal. A hint of mint, a hint of dill, even a little maybe perfumey note. Okay, on the palate. A decent mouthfeel, but it is on the lighter side, even at 46% ABV. So I'm not really picking up the viscosity much on this. A little more on the lighter, delicate side, but I'm not getting any of those youthful notes, really. Um... It's got a pleasant sweetness. The herbs, the herbal notes are there on the palate, along with black pepper and some oak spice and a little bit of mint, a sprig of mint. And believe it or not, the finish is quite long. Okay. It's a long, dry finish. Um, so score-wise, um, for the price I paid $20 on sale, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10, which means it's good. Okay. In my opinion, if you spend the $35 for it, maybe bump it down to a, uh, a 5, um, which is average. Okay. But I'm going to stick with my 6 score, but I'm trying to put everything in perspective, for, you know, read between the lines. But um, um, I like this. I think it's good, um, but even if I could get another one at $20, I don't feel a need to. However, I kind of might, only because it's a cool little collectible item, just like to hang on to who knows when, you know what I mean? Because um, it's a limited edition. I, I don't know how many they made, but when they're gone, they're gone. So I think it would be a, a, a cool keepsake just to like tuck another one aside. But... Um, but yeah, so that's my story, and I'm sticking to that. Um, now, Irish whiskey. Let's go back to 2019, okay? Um, I'm a big Red Breast fan from Middleton, okay? So in 2019, um, they released the special United States, actually Massachusetts, Massachusetts and California special release, very limited. There was batch A, B, C, and D, 252 bottles. Per batch, so a little a thousand and four uh, bottles total. This was a fourteen-year-old. It is a fourteen-year-old cast strength. In two thousand nineteen, the special release was one hundred dollars. Okay, in two thousand nineteen, I bought Red Breast twenty-one-year-old, forty-six percent ABV. Granted, I had to have it shipped from the UK, but it was equivalent to about $140, $150, okay? Um, now the Red Breast 21 is probably $340, right? Maybe even a little more than that. Um, and then, you know, you the Red Breast 12 cast strength, which mileage may vary in that different batches are better than others, Okay. But going back to 2019, a Red Breast 12 cash strength, um, I could find it all day long for between $65 and $70. And then the Red Breast 15-year-old at 46% ABV back in 2019 was maybe $85, if I, if I remember correctly. Okay, fast forward to today, the Red Breast 12 cash strength is $110. And the Red Breast 15-year-old is $140. So the Red Breast 15-year-old, currently $140, which is kind of what I paid for the 21-year-old 
back in 2019. I just found that interesting. Um, I don't want to, you know, everything's going up, but I'm just trying to like do a little time capsule, um, you know, uh, update here. Um, so if you're a Patreon, you know that I do exclusive Patreon reviews and there's, there's a little over 30 in the archives right now. I try to do like one or two a month and there is going to be, um, from now on, it might be, I don't know if it's going to be from now, but before St. Patty's Day or on St. Patty's Day, um, there will be a Patreon review. And what I'm going to do is um, review, this is Batch C from 2019, the 14-year-old Cast Strength Special Release. I'm going to review Batch A and um, and go by memory comparing it because I have, I, I've had two or three bottles of this Batch C. So it's pretty ingrained in my DNA uh, how it tasted. And at that time, I would, this was one of my favorite Irish whiskeys that I had ever had. Um, but if I had to pick one Irish whiskey that's currently available, it would be the uh, Redbreast 15 year old. Um, even at $140, which is kind of pushing it. Uh, it is pushing it, <laughs> but if you have that kind of money to spend, I'd recommend the Redbreast 15 year old. I think it's a, a damn good whiskey that can compete with the best of the best of bourbons and the best of some scotches. Okay. So I don't want to, uh, go on ramble on any longer than I have. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you did give it a thumbs up, happy St. Patrick's day. Hats off to you all. Cheers and take care, folks. And drive safe and be careful.